Welcome to Telotalks, where we bring you inside our network of amazing people. Luminaries we rely on every day to inform us on technology, automotive history, engineering best practices, and more. All so we can build an epic company and deliver an amazing truck to you. Steve, thanks for coming on the channel. Thanks for having me. We've got a lot of questions from the community, I'm sure, Good. but did designing a pickup truck kind of excite you or intimidate you because of maybe how different it is from previous designs you've done or? I mean, if I were to design, you know, a car 20 years ago, I would have get, gotten intimidated. Mm. But I think the problems we tackle here at Fuse Project are always pretty intense. You know, we, we don't we don't go for sort of easy designs and styling jobs. You know, taking advantage of battery EV technology is really fascinating because we can completely rethink the way a car is built, the way you know, where your constraints are is completely different uh, with an EV. A lot less constraints when it comes to everything above around the engine and above the battery line. For me, the opportunity has always been with this new technology, with EV technology, cars should be conceived differently. You basically have completely different internals, a lot more freedom to create a great experience, interior experience, as well as the ability to make the vehicle a lot shorter with just as much functionality or more than a standard gasoline engine. With design, I think we can really demonstrate that very well. In the past, you've said designs tell stories. Mm -hmm. So what kind of story are you hoping to tell with the overall face and look of the Tello truck? Well, to me, it's very clear that with an EV and an EV pickup mm -hmm. that is so much smaller and hence you know, safer both for pedestrians, bikers, as well as, as people inside the vehicle, the stories that I want to tell is ones that, you know, we're primarily looking at the user experience. We're looking at how comfortable it is, how much storage space we have in different places, how sort of the materiality that we're using, how much healthier it is. All those elements, to me, really tell a story of the future of car design and the future of pickup trucks. Throughout the history of cars and their designs, there's been very few opportunities for a big change. Not just, you know, details or trends, you know, that are often kind of cosmetic, uh, but rather fundamental change. So innovating on the mid gate that falls down and gives you so much more space, innovating on the interior design and, you know, the speaker layout and soft textile materials that we're using, for example. I think all of that and it tells you that this is not a marketing driven kind of effort, you know, from a big brand, from a big company, but one really of innovation and design, really catering for people's needs in their future transportation. Are there things in vehicles and trucks today that kind of frustrate you that you were like, we definitely have to address that? I have a unique experience because I drove an electric car continuously, the same car for about 10 years. And then for the last two years, I've been driving a electric pickup truck. I really have about 12 years of continuous experience in an electric vehicle as a customer, as a, as a driver. And there are a few things that I really feel can be quite different. I mean, one, for one, I find that a lot of the electric cars that are out there in the market today, they're not that different from uh, standard gasoline engine cars. They're not bringing you as much innovation, both in terms of the layout of the car. They're not taking advantage of your EV driven layout in the vehicle. So, you know, this to me was a dream because we could fundamentally address the car completely differently by making it fit, you know, for, for city life, making it fit in a garage. In fact, my current pickup truck, I can put one of, one of these in my you know, garage, I could put four Tellos in there instead. So wow. huge difference. Yeah. Right? To me, like I really wanted to improve on the overall aspect, visual and, and, and experiential aspect of the, of the vehicle from the outside in, as well as from the inside out. And that's when, you know, we've been working on the interior design. We've been working on really using different kinds of materials. I have a hard time with the off-gassing when you get into a, a new car or a newish car. You always have that smell. It feels toxic to me. I don't like that new car smell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, working with more sustainable materials, lighter materials, more natural materials, healthier materials has been a theme throughout my design career and one that I certainly, that we are applying to, um, to the Tello as well. How do you 
handle criticism because I know a lot of design is subjective and there are certain things that uh, you have to be willing to compromise a bit on or certain things that you're like, no, we can't stand ground there. So how do you decide what is like stand your ground versus or concede a little bit? I, I don't feel that way about design in general, whereas, you know, I don't see I don't see my role as a designer to to dig in and to be in opposition to what would make sense from a engineering or from a commercial standpoint or I really feel like design is about finding solutions. My role is to bring solutions to the industrial design but if we need to solve something that has more to do with engineering or structural we are there to make it work um, and in fact this is what I love about the process of uh, the aerodynamics work or some of the engineering work that's ongoing, I don't see it as an opportunity for compromise. I see it as an opportunity to make the vehicle better throughout and even from a design standpoint. Mm. A lot of times, you know, the refinements that, you know, you, you're being asked to do or that, that we're looking at together, I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't come from the point of view of, oh, that's going to make the design worse or, or I'm going to lose something that we had you know, already conceived, I see it as the other way around. It's like, oh, this is an opportunity to make it even better. A little bit of backstory. Uh, what stage of development were Jason and Forrest in when they approached you? When Forrest and Jason approached me, they essentially had the notion of a short vehicle. They had some plans for the battery layout. They had some plans for the overall layout. But, you know, I could see how technically it could work but there was no preconceived idea of what the design could be. And, you know, throughout, they've continued to engineer and refine the mechanical, the assembly, and we have built, you know, the, the design with them. So there's been a lot of back and forth on some of the technical elements, some of the structural elements, some of the safety elements, and how, you know, we can place them or we can engineer them in ways that make the vehicle overall better, both aesthetically and functionally for the, you know, for the occupants. So I would say it was very early. That's the way I like to work. I like to start with ideas, hopefully big ideas, and then go from there and really bring them to life in collaboration with tech and engineering and you know all of the regulatory and other you know constraints that we have in such a project did they have the name picked out when they came to you or was no that... the, the you know part of the work we did together was to come up with a name for the company and the car to develop the branding to develop uh, the website so you know our design work is not just about shaping something to make it look pretty is to really make it make sense through an ecosystem of creative elements that include the industrial design, the user experience, um, the way you communicate through brand and um, through marketing. Mm. So how did you come up with the name Tello? So the name really came from a study that we did around the brand. And the aim, I think, of the company is to really build something that's fit for purpose. So the, the, in Greek, Tello has uh, the meaning of purpose. Plus, it's a short word, right? Four letters. It's friendly. It's not macho. A lot of pickup and truck brands, you know, have really sort of macho names. So we wanted something that is meaningful, but also feels inclusive of different types of people that will use Tello, um, from contractors to builders, you know, professionals, but also, you know, weekend warriors, people, you know, surfers, artists. Um, we really feel like there's a big need for or a purposeful truck. Okay, final question. Yeah. Where are you going to take your Tello truck? Oh, I'm going to take my Tello truck everywhere. I'm going <laughs> to take it to the beach. I'm going to take it to the mountains for skiing and snowboarding. But I also carry a lot of stuff around. I always have needs to transport, you know, big mock-ups or I'm building something in my house or moving furniture around and it will be perfect for that. I'm especially excited about the notion of being able to have things in a truck bed and sometimes things that are bigger, mm -hmm. right? A four by eight sheet of plywood, a big surfboard and cover it with the tonneau cover and being able to be in the city and never worry that, you know, my stuff is going to disappear. To me, that's the only disadvantage of a, of a pickup truck at times is the fact that the things that you're carrying are exposed. And in our case, um, it will be fully secured. And I think that's very useful in a city environment.
All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for designing it. Happy to do so.